Um, so we're honored, I'm honored uh, to be sitting here with uh, Lyle Gonim, um, who is famous for kind of a weird reason. Um, and basically he was a kind of mild-mannered Google executive who suddenly became the face of a revolution, an unlikely revolution, that worked. Or maybe it worked, anyway. Um, but, so, so we're really glad to have you here, and I, I wanted to start because so many of the people in the audience here at the Dublin Web Summit are uh, technologists and people like you, like you were, anyway. And I wanted to know how somebody goes from, you know, trying to figure out how to get more users in Kuwait on Google Maps to trying to take down a horrible autocratic regime, a, a, a scary regime. How did that, how, how did that transition happen? Uh, well, first, I'm happy to be here um, among my, uh, my geeky friends. And uh, I, miss, I miss a lot of these gatherings after the revolution because I meet politicians more than geeks, which is not very cool. Um, well, it all started in 2010 when um, a lot of Egyptians were very depressed with the situation and how the country was being managed by an autocracy that is doing everything to remain in power. Our president um, has been there for 30 years. He's almost 80, uh, 85 years old and he's still continuing and probably running for the next elections in 2011. And um, I felt obliged, like just many other Egyptians, that uh, we were blessed with education and, um, and technology and our ability to communicate and use the, the tools to reach out to people. And, we have to pay back to the community by telling them that this should stop. And um, I was part of, uh, of the campaign uh, for, for change in Egypt. And then when uh, this guy died from torture, his name is Khaled Saeed, I decided to create a page uh, on Facebook. And that page was We're All Khaled Saeed. And um, it's just, that's the beauty of the internet. You don't really plan a lot of things ahead. Right. Um, it just happens that on the first day, 30,000 Egyptians joined the page. In the second day, um, we became 70,000. In four days, we became 100,000. And people were obviously angry. And from then, I used, um, among the other administrator, a lot of my marketing knowledge and experience in in using demo the call for democracy as a product and, uh, and promote it as just like how you promote any other product, but so with the, a lot of dignity and belief. The amazing thing about uh, Wells' book, which is called uh, Revolution 2.0, in which uh, it's available, you can buy it. It's, I really recommend it. Thanks for the advertising. That was it's a, <laughs> it's, a mar it's that. crazy because it's a book about the fall of Hosni Mubarak and well, becoming uh, imprisoned and kicked and punched, but it's also in a weird way a, a book about digital marketing. And, and as you say, the, the product, uh, wh what was the product? I mean, <laughs> so in, in the page, there were a lot of rules that I started to put on together based on the experience with the users, is that uh, it was very collaborative. Uh, every single decision we had on that page, whenever we decided I'm going to protest, it was done after a survey. And uh, since I'm talking to technologists, I'll tell you a very, uh, uh, to me, inspiring story. Um, I use this, an application for surveys. Um, it's called, I'm going to do advertising. They deserve advertising. Service.com, S-U-R-V-S.com. It was one of the very few that supports Arabic. So I used it for months. I paid a subscription of a couple of hundred dollars. I don't know them. They don't know me. And after uh, I came out from prison, uh, when I tried to survey people to, uh, before Mubarak steps down to see what happens, the application went down, completely down, because of the huge number of people. At that time, the page exceeded one million uh, uh, fans. So um, I came to know that it was a company uh, that was started by two people. It has only two people working as employees. There is no office. And that company is, is to a very large extent, was instrumental and influential in, uh, uh, in our page. Um, I've never met the founders before, but at the end of the day, uh, I, I truly believe and believe since 2010 that people who work in media and people who work in technology are the change agents of this world. They can get more and more people involved in solving uh, the world problems. Um, and 
and make a, a really big impact than what they can imagine. I'm sure those two guys would never have thought that their page uh, 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 is, their product is used heavily in a country like Egypt for democracy and, uh, and participation. It's so, it's so inspiring. Um, so how do you go from a Facebook page, a survey, even a million likes or whatever, to actual um, action? Because I think, you know, in the U.S. we had Occupy Wall Street, and it, it, there was lots of chatter and, and a lot of media stuff, and, and not a lot really happened. And obviously something pretty big did happen in Egypt, and I'm kind of curious, where, how do you bridge, how was the gap bridge between uh, the digital world and the, and the real world? Well, it starts from the belief, I had a lot of these arguments in 2010 with people telling me, listen, this is a virtual world, nothing is going to happen in the real world based on what happens in the virtual world. And I, I used to argue a lot with some, um, uh, with some of the close people who knew who I was that it starts with the belief that those who are online are not zombies. They are actual human beings. The, the guy who likes and shares and comments is an actual guy sitting somewhere. And he, uh, all, all what it takes is convincing him that it is, uh, it is important to act. Uh, so one thing is belief that they are not zombies. And the other thing is um, to find the kind of activities that appeal to them. And that's why surveys are very critical and important. Before taking to the streets, we came up with this, it wasn't me, it was a user, came up with this idea that because of state security regulations and arresting protesters, let's just call for something called silent stand. People are going to go in the street all wearing black and uh, uh, in sort of a flash mob looking at the sea and their backs to the, to the street, stand there for one hour and then go home. So the pray, is, right? Yeah, they pray or listen to, uh, uh, to you know, music, whatever they want. They just sit down there, stand up there silently for one hour. And then we survey the users. The users like it. Those who like it are more interested in, in going down. And then finally, of course, the events, uh, forging elections. And then the main reason behind why people definitely went to the streets was that what happened in Tunisia. It gave us a role model that actually it could work. Yeah. People were a lot, you know, we had a lot of people say, there's no other solution, nothing is going to happen, until they saw what happened in Tunisia. And then on uh, 14th of January, when, when I posted the first call, like, if 100,000 of us go to the Cairo, you know, Cairo Tahrir Square, no one is going to stop us. Uh, a lot of people were just like, yes, we're going to do it. And we're ready to sacrifice because at the end of the day, uh, we want our country to become, you know, to be a better country and we want to get rid of dictatorship. So, so once they believe that there is a, a reason behind this, people are going to join. And uh, finally, which is very critical and I try to explain it in the book, a lot of people think that um, an activist is, is someone who distances himself from the people saying, oh, I'm better than you, I believe in, I've learned and I, I, I'm more educated, but the fact is the page was very mainstream. I made sure that for example, we never use the word regime in the page. Uh, we always use the word government because the word regime is kind of unknown, unpopular. It's popular among the, the, the activists, yet it was not popular uh, 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 among the, uh, those who are you know, mainstream. When, whenever we came with activities, we were telling people that, you know, uh, uh, be very careful of yourself. Uh, don't get involved in any, uh, uh, um, uh, any aggressions with the police and actors were making fun of us. At the end of the day, the page was tailored for the mainstream, not for uh, for those who are actors.